this section, we'll look at how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide positive and or negative numbers. So first of all, let's talk about how we put things together. In addition, if you add two positive numbers, you still get a positive number. In addition, if you add two negative numbers, you still get a negative number. If you add a positive and a negative, it depends on which number is bigger. You get the sign of the bigger number. Multiplication and division is different. If you have two positive numbers, you still get a positive. But if you multiply or divide two negative numbers, you also get a positive. Now if you multiply or divide one positive and one negative, you get a negative. And then multiplication and division doesn't matter which number is bigger. The opposite of the number means that you change the sign. So let's look at some problems. Oh, first, let's look at how to subtract. And that's why subtraction is not listed in the table above it. So in order to subtract, you have to do two things. You First of all, you change the subtract sign to addition. And the number after the subtraction sign gets changed to its opposite. So when we're subtracting, we say we add the opposite. So in example one, we're going to look at a number line. We're adding negative numbers. So the first negative seven says we're starting at negative seven. And then we're adding a negative 2. So when we say adding a negative 2, the negative tells us we need to move two places to the left. Okay, so there's where we end up. We end up at negative 9. So you can see that when we add two negatives, we still get a negative answer. We add the numbers and we keep the negative with it. In this problem, we're starting at negative 3 because that's our first number, and then we're adding 4. Now the 4 is positive, so we're going to move 4 units to the right. And we end up at 1. So because those signs are different, we actually are subtracting 4 minus 3. And we get 1. And then the bigger number was the 4. It was positive, so our answer is a positive 1. If the negative number was bigger, then our answer would be negative. So the opposite, again, remember, just means change the sign. So the opposite of 21 would be negative 21. And the opposite of negative 3 would just be a positive 3. So this wants us to write this as a, an addition problem. The first number just gets copied. And then the subtraction sign actually means the opposite of. So it changes subtraction to addition. And then this 11 gets made its opposite, which is negative 11. So negative 4 minus 11 is the same thing as negative 4 plus a negative 11. And that allows us to use the rules for addition. In this problem, we can rewrite this. We copy the 5. The minus becomes plus, And then the opposite of the negative 15 is a positive 15. So 5 minus a negative 15 is really the same thing as 5 plus 15. This problem doesn't want us to solve it. It just wants us to rewrite it. So let's look at this. We'll find the value of it. So we're going to start with 3, the minus becomes plus, and the opposite of 15 becomes, or negative 15 becomes a positive 15. And then 3 plus 15 is 18. And that's our answer. Now in your calculator you can do this as well. You would type 3, and then you would use your normal minus sign. And then the negative sign is usually at the bottom and it's in parentheses like that and then you would type in the 15, and you'll still get 18 as your answer. So this problem, we're going to do the absolute value first. Remember, the absolute value means the distance from zero, so the absolute value of negative 8 
is the distance, which is 8. And then this negative that's out in front just gets copied out in front. So our answer is actually negative 8. Because this is not parentheses, if it was parentheses, then this negative and this negative, um, this means add the opposite or two negatives together and it making a positive. So if it's parentheses, we would just get a positive 8. But because it's absolute values, we have to do the absolute value first. And the absolute value of negative 8 is positive 8. And then the negative that's out in front just gets copied out in front. So let's look at this problem. This problem says subtract thir negative 34 from 18. So remember this from means you have to have something there first in order for me to take it from you. So the 18 is coming first. And then it tells us to subtract negative 34. So we end up with this problem. Two negatives together make a positive, really. We add the opposite. So we end up with 18 plus 34, which you can do in your calculator. And we get 52. So let's look at multiplying. Um, we can just multiply these in order. Negative 4 times 8 is negative 32 times a negative 2. A negative times a negative is a positive. So we really have 32 times 2, which is 64. Now you can put that all in your calculator all at the same time. You can type in your negative 4 times 8 times negative, oops, sorry, times the negative first. Now I'm only putting parentheses around this negative because that's the way it usually shows up on a calculator. Okay, in this problem, we're going to find the quotient. Remember that means divide. So we'll type in our calculator negative 76 divided by 19. Remember, this is that button in your calculator with the parentheses around it at the bottom. And you should get negative 4 as your answer. Negative divided by a positive is a negative. And that should help you do section 2.2.